Hi guys and welcome to the video. My name is Siobhan and today we're going to be doing a little shot test. Um, so I tested positive for COVID-19. I tested positive for... I tested positive for COVID four days ago <clears throat> and after spending the past couple of days kind of feeling really awful um, I'm feeling a bit better today and I decided to do my makeup and film a video um, Now, as part of COVID as well as symptoms including a cough hot and cold sweats, um, I had a really sore head, really sore throat, really sore ears, um, my muscles were a bit achy. I've also lost my sense of taste <clears throat> and smell so I don't know how long that's gonna last, I'm hoping it's temporary but we don't know. Um, so while I have those symptoms, particularly the loss of taste and smell, I thought I'd try a couple of shots, see if I can taste them. Now I can't taste anything, I can feel the texture of stuff, so when I'm eating like chocolate or a sandwich I can feel the texture but I can't taste it. Um, when I have something like curry or hot sauce, I can't taste it but I can feel like the heat I guess. So like it's not like I can swallow it without going <sighs> like it's not hot but I can feel the heat. I think the taste maybe adds a lot more to that. Um, but no, I can't smell anything. So like I have like a little bottle of gin here and I can't smell it. <sighs> not that you guys are going to know that I can't smell it because there you go, you can... You can try all that. Um, not that you guys are going to know, but I thought I would try, try a few shots, see if any of them tickle my taste buds. I guess. Um, I was going to try with like an onion and like chilies and stuff like that, but I already know from food I won't be able to taste the onion at all, and I won't be able to taste the chili either. I might be able to feel a little bit of the heat, like um when air hits my tongue I'll know that that was supposed to be hot but it's not hot like the spice isn't there so I already know the case of that like I'm I already know what's going to happen with that whereas obviously because I've not been well I've not been having alcohol and probably don't recommend doing it either but I just thought it'd be good to see hmm. it's just a bit wonky I also got my hair done just before I went into lockdown, just before I went into lockdown, like a couple of weeks ago, that's when my roots are starting to grow on as well, and I'm not giving it the best debut, like I have some, like it's really nice when I have it done properly, I'm not giving it the best debut, it's just back in the bobble right now because <sighs> the gal's not well. Um, I have three things here, so first I have some vodka which I guess you could say like, like you could say oh that's just water but it's not it's 100% not um I do have do have an unopened bottle of vodka but I don't want to open it for the, for the purposes of this because I know this is vodka so these are the three I've got right I have some Smirnoff vodka some rhubarb and ginger gin and then I have the Echo Falls. Now that's not opened yet. So that is opened, but it's, again, that is 100% gin. That's 100% vodka. Like, I don't know if you can even tell. Yeah, it's vodka. Like, it's good. It's not, I was going to say it's a slightly more thicker consistency than water, but I can't smell it. Like, I know it's vodka. Right, okay. I know it is. I'll start with the wine, go to the gin and then go to the vodka. Now I actually like wine so this won't be too difficult even if there is some taste to it. I like gin and I like vodka but not as shots, they're horrific as shots so we're starting off with the wine and this isn't really a shot I'm just going to take a drink of this but So 
so glad that just stuck it on it. <laughs> it was a present. <laughs> I can't smell it either. I feel like they're they're because it's alcohol. There's going to be like some kind of feeling, but I still don't think I'll be able to taste it. So you know, I can't taste it. There is like a feeling. Oh, it's like it must be like from the. Like, I don't know what it is. There is a feeling. And it has like a feeling of alcohol, like a feeling of wine. I can't taste it. So like I could drink this and it I, like I wouldn't I wouldn't have like oh my god, I was drunk wine. Like no. No. I wouldn't know that until I felt drunk. See as it's like It's like a little tingle. See, that's all I can. That's all that's happening right now. With any food, it's not a taste, but it's a, like a, the texture. I can feel the texture. I can feel a tingle. I can feel, like I can feel, but no taste. And it's such an odd feeling. It's so odd, like beyond explainable. Like I know people who have had COVID, like my friend Callum has had COVID and he understands he lost his sense of taste and smell but he's got it back now, so. Um, but like he's, he said the same, like it's such a weird, like weird feeling and you can't really explain it but the way I'm trying to explain it is you can feel the texture of food and I'm just going to say food needs a taste and it needs a smell. Without that it's, it's nothing, it's literally nothing. Like I can now eat foods I don't like because I can't taste it. I, like literally all all I need is nutrition, really. That's all I need because nothing in my, my palate's not being satisfied. I just, I just need nutrition, that's all. So yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of the way it is really. Hmm. Um, next we're gonna go to the gym, I really hope. Like, I don't really get any tingles with this one. I can't smell that either. I don't know why I'm trying as if like, oh, if you smell it hard enough, you might be able to. No. Um. Yeah, I've not got a little... I'm just going to have to take a drink of this as well. I don't even have a shot glass, guys. Hmm. Okay. I'm pure scared, even though I know I can't taste it. Nothing to be scared of. You just have nothing. Hmm. See, that was a bit like a tingle as well. Oh, I can feel the burn in my throat. That's funny. That's funny. Like, I can feel the burn, but I can't taste it. I think taste must be half the, half the wacky gag and stuff like going, Ugh. like that must be half of it. My God, I love life like that. Um, yeah, get taste. Taste must be a lot of the reason why like people don't do shots of gin and vodka that often because when I mean, you can taste these, they're not nice. But <clears throat> I'm going to be steaming. I've not had a drink in a while. I'll look at my lipstick then, but see, like I can, I can feel the burn. I think that's probably going to be the same with the vodka then. Feel the burn, but not the taste, and that kind of takes away the I don't know the disgustingness of it really. So realistically, if they made vodka taste better, you could do shots of it because it's not, it's not the actual alcohol, it's not the burn, it's the flavour, I think. Well, that's the case with gin. Anyway, that's the case with gin. We're going to find out. I'm actually going to do like a little, little shot of this one because I actually have a lid with it. Hmm. 
that is still, if you can see it. <laughs> Don't smell that either. I feel like the burn's still going to be there, but if the taste isn't there, maybe it'll be better. The burn is still there. Jesus, give me the chip again. Oh no, the the burn is still there with that. Okay, so basically. Shots of vodka are not good, no matter if you can taste them or not. Oh my god, my throat. <sighs> my throat's just in agony right now. <laughs> it was already sore, but like this is making it worse. There's no taste, it's just. A rotten burn. Hmm, no. You know how this juice is like really strong when you drink it? Like it's not like a nor like a normal juice. It's like got a really strong, strong orange taste. Can't taste that either. Fun fact. <laughs> I think I've got the point by now, but yeah. You know, there is one thing I can taste, and I think it's because you're not meant to eat it, but I ate coffee granules <laughs> the other day. <laughs> I ate coffee granules, and I can taste them, and it doesn't taste like coffee. It kind of tastes a bit like, I don't know, like earth, like dirt or something. It's not, it's not as strong as you'd think it'd be either. I mean, it probably is if you have your full taste. Um, but it's like, yeah, it's not like coffee at all. It's a little, like a little bit like you're eating a wee bit of dirt. So I tasted them. I wonder if I can, hmm, I wonder if I can still taste them because that was a couple of days ago I tried it. I'm going to go get coffee granules. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, so I have the Kenko Milicano granules. And I have it in there. Now all I did was this, right? So I just took like one or two out. It's not as strong as it was the other day. Okay, so I've lost that a little, little bit as well. I can still taste it a little bit. Taste these a little bit, but not like not as strong as I could the other day. But I can still taste these. So like, in theory, if I made a black coffee, I might be able to taste it. <clears throat> I can't taste tea though. I've tried that already. I've had lots and lots of tea. Tea has been keeping me going. I've tried lots of tea. That's been great, but it's just been the hot. The hotness that's been great for like my throat and my head it's just been nice and calm and lovely I can't taste that either obviously but the hotness has been great I've been having lots of um ice lollies as well because the coldness was great for my throat as well um yeah so <clears throat> vodka still a no-go like shots of vodka are for the wicked or when you're really drunk mm. But no, um, definitely not. Gin. Now, this is going to be weird because shots of gin are horrific when you can taste. But I would still do it. Like, if I never got my taste back, I'd happily do shots of gin. Happily do shots of gin. Um, and for wine, I actually quite like wine as it goes. Um, I'd probably have, like, a glass or two. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't, like, just have one of these for the fun of it. But, they don't taste of anything now, so I can. Not that I want to, because I already feel a bit tipsy after that. Feel a bit tipsy, guys. Probably why I ate 
Coffee can use on the internet. Problem with the internet. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that is it. That is my little shot taste test for you. Now I'm gonna go put my snuggie back on. And watch some TV as I have been doing for the past couple of days. <coughs> Choose your fighter. Yeah, okay. This is not a real snuggie, by the way. This is like a rip off for £20. Because I enjoy clothes far too much to like pay fifty pound for this and get it for twenty, you know. Like I see, like there's some certain things that I'm like, okay, I don't care if it's that price because I'll look at it. I want that, which is fair enough. But I'm not paying over the odds for something when I don't need to, you know. Sorry, Snuggy. <clears throat> but yeah, so this one, guys. So, <laughs> little blanket hoodie. That's actually what it's called, blanket hoodie. This is what it's called, blanket hoodie. Twenty pound. The more you know. Um. Yeah, I'm going to take this off for my outro. So, <laughs> thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.